Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever your current life situation is. Hello YouTube, this is Jeffrey Kite back again with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. Today, me and my sidekick, Olivia, hello, we are headed to the Savoy Automotive Museum. I think that's the name of it. I will, as we get there, we'll try to give you the official name, and the official name will be in the title of this video. But the Samoy Savoy, excuse me, Savoy Automotive Museum in Cartersville, Georgia. Um, they've got all kinds of stuff there. There's other YouTube videos that you can check out on there and see. But what's interesting about the Savoy Automotive Museum is they rotate exhibits out constantly so you never see the same exhibit twice if if you go today and then you go you know six seven seven months later it's going to be a totally different lineup of cars and trucks and i've heard boats are going to be there let me even boats cars that have been in movies cars that um different race car drivers have used it's so much there and i'm just so excited to to go see it and um it's gonna be a lot of fun you looking forward to it olivia mm -hmm. awesome all right let's uh let's get on the road and let's get going here all right folks we made it we are here this museum i believe has only been open since like december of 2021 and interesting story when they were clearing the land for this museum you can see it all out this way when they were clearing the land something interesting they found on this land it was this right here this is 1954 plymouth savoy and so that is how this museum uh, got its name Here's a picture of what it looked like when it was out here at the middle of the land here. Very interesting. And uh, I think, uh, I don't know if this was a planted tree or if this was the tree that was growing up in between the, the trunk of the Savoy here. So kind of awesome how they had a piece of uh, automotive history on the very land that they were planning in this museum. Um, Linda Bronker, who is an Irish uh, sculptor and does a lot of bronze work, she was commissioned by the Savoy Museum to fashion like, like an outside showpiece to get everybody to stop and check the museum out and they compiled uh, several types of hood ornaments from different uh, automotive makes in uh, automotive history and uh, she took all those examples and fashioned them together to create this beautiful sculpture uh, that she named Spirit of Speed and um, I mean, just look how sleek and stylish that is. I mean, that is just gorgeous. Gorgeous piece of art right there. As soon as we walked in, we saw this magnificent beast right here. This is the dragster of Miss Shirley Muldowney. Now, if you don't know who Shirley Muldowney is, she is the first driver ever driver now not male female first driver of all of them to win three nhra top fuel championships the last pass man what a magnificent vehicle right here Coming, 
many of you who are uh, car car guys, car ladies, uh, car fanatics know the name Sam Foos, um, legend in the uh, customization of cars and uh, pioneered, you know, car restoration and those kinds of things. He has, his son is Chip Foos, who's, you know, created a legend um, in and of himself. But uh, Chip learned all his tricks from his dad. And this right here, among many of the cars that are here uh, to in this particular exhibit that is going on right now at Savoy is uh, the Foos cars that um, are still around. And this is Sam Foos's 1948 Ford Deluxe Custom. It was in the cover of many, many magazines. It was featured in many magazines. I should have said on the cover of many magazines and featured in many different magazines, Motor Trend, Hot Rod, and all those things. And just, just gonna let you take a look at the beauty of this vehicle here. And there's the magazine it was on the cover of. I think it's Custom Rod Magazine. Just a gorgeous vehicle. Something my daughter Olivia was very excited about was right over there. She said, Dad. What is that? And I said, that's what you roll the windows up and down with. It's a crank. She had never seen one of those before. Now here's a 1957 Buick Roadmaster Series 75. Beautiful car, but something that I've never seen before is right back here. You notice, this is where you put the fuel. I've never seen The fuel, the fuel line on the bumper of a vehicle. That's just interesting to me. That you just don't ever see that anymore. Just all these different little torques and customs of these classic cars. Just I'm always finding something new that I've never seen before, and it's just it's very intriguing. For all you tech fans out there, this is a replica of the 1930 Ramblin' Wreck Ford Model A that they drive onto the field at Georgia Tech football games.
the rumble seat. Here's a 1932 Buick Model 67. Something very peculiar I noticed about this vehicle. Have you, do you see it? Let's see if you notice it. There are no rear view mirrors when you're driving. There's one right there, but if you look, looks like it's been kind of puttied up there. But these right here, check this out. A rear view mirror mounted on the spare tire with leather straps. I've, I can honestly say I've never seen that before. I've been to car shows, I've noticed, you know, different little things, but I've, I've never seen this before. Uh, you car guys, put in the comments, was this like a, like a, a factory, like accessory you could buy later or is this something that was a, a standard accessory to the car put in the comments let me know there's the other one over there on the other side strap uh, the strap looks in the the holder looks just the same very very interesting right there now here is a true <laughs> rare automotive piece this is a 2023 Myers Max 356. Um, there are only two, only two of these automobiles right here in the entire world. Beautiful, beautiful automobile here. Just gorgeous. Now, back in the old days of car production, mass production stuff, if you had a wooden yes, car, if you had a wooden car, you were considered to have a lot of money. So if, if you wanted prestige and you wanted like to be a head turner, you needed a wooden car. <laughs> it doesn't make sense today, but it, back then it did. And this, my friends, is an old 1933 Ford station wagon. They called them Woodies back then, so. Gorgeous car right there. One of the automotive legends here in the state of Georgia is Mr. Courtney Heiser. Um, for those of you who might not know him, or have heard about him, Courtney Heiser was basically a Bonneville legend. He was able to set many, many uh, land speed records for the the Bonneville Pontiac Bonneville. Um, he just he just loved it. Just loved going fast. <laughs> loved driving hard. Driving fast. And uh, would get out there in them salt flats out there in the western part of the United States and just, I mean, let her rip. And um, here's a few of his uh, mementos and trophies and awards uh, that he won for setting all those Bonneville land speed records. <laughs> Folks, check this out now. This is the car that Danica Patrick drove to a top five finish at the 2005 
Indianapolis 500. Now, say what you want to say about Danica. Well, you can say, <laughs> I know she's a, she's a hot button topic. Uh, she's got her supporters. She's got her um, villain, vilified people, <laughs> I guess you'd call it. But, I mean, let's give credit where credit is due. She's the first woman ever to finish in the top five in the Indy 500. And as far as I know, the only woman to finish in the top five in the Indy 500. I mean, let's give credit where credit is due. I know she ain't, from what I've heard, ain't the most personable person in the world, but let's give credit where credit is due. A beautiful race car fourth place in the Indy 500 in this very car that you see right here. Awesome. And here's the car that started it all for women racing in the Indy 500. Janet Guthrie's 1978 Texaco Star car. She would go on to finish ninth um, that year in the Indy 500. First woman to get a top 10. I mean, I mean she even beat Mario Andretti that day. Fantastic piece of racing history here. You know, earlier I mentioned in my introduction that they even have boats here. This is an old 1936 Garwood Speedster. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is gorgeous. It says right here, some steps we can go up. It says, do not step on the trailer, so that y'all get a look on the inside of this thing. Look at that. <laughs> Just, I mean, back when we were constructing cars and boats and trucks, it was all about luxury and leather and comfort. Incredible. All you Chris Craft fans out there, check this out. This is a 1948 Chris Craft runabout. A runabout or runaround? Eh, either one there, I can't remember. 1948 Chris Craft. Gorgeous, absolutely just gorgeous. From racing history to movie history, this is the very 1948 Buick Roadmaster that was in the movie by Barry Levinson by the name of Rain Man. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. I can't believe I'm I'm looking at this car. Actual the actual car that was on screen. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Tom Cruise sat right there. Dustin Hoffman sat right over there. Beautiful, beautiful. Sorry folks, I had it wrong. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman sat here. Tom Cruise sat there. So, sorry about that. And here's one last cinematic beauty. There's others here, but uh, there's just so much going on at this museum. I, this video would be six hours long if I did every single one. This is the 1958 Impala from the 1973 George Lucas movie, 
American graffiti. Just beautiful. Wow, that, that was a truly, truly breathtaking experience. All those old classic cars. And again, folks, I didn't film a fourth of what's in there. I just, due to time constraints, and just don't want to make the video too long. Uh, folks, if you get a chance to come out to the Savoy Automobile Museum in Cartersville, Georgia, you need to do it you need to if you coming on down to atlanta you know make some time to come up here to this museum if you're a car person um just wonderful pieces of automotive history sports history automotive sports movies just i mean you name it they got it in there olivia did you have a good time today mm -hmm. awesome as always folks like comment subscribe do whatever you want to do tell me what you think as always, have a good one now. Y'all take care now. Bye.